Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a what if analysis through my WCU. A what if analysis is basically pulling a degree audit for another major that you have actually not declared. It's really good if you're thinking about changing majors at any point. So you can go in and say, I'm thinking about this major, what is it going to look like? And it's pretty easy to pull up. So all you got to do is go over here and type in audit, just like we did for the degree audit. Oops. There we go. And select the current term. And then here you see I'm a higher education student affairs major. Um, but I'm, I might be looking at a different major. So let's do this. Let's click on what if analysis. And basically it's going to say select an entry term. And I want to start my new major in the fall of 2017. Select the program. So this is every major we have at Western. So I'm going to collect, or I'm going to select communication Bachelor of Science, continue, and then it's going to ask me the first major. So I'm going to select that major, and then I'm going to say add more. Um, you don't have to select add more. If you just want to look at the major, you can select submit. But I'm going to add in a concentration, so I want to have a broadcasting concentration. And then I'm going to select add more again if you want a minor. Um, if you want a minor without a concentration, just click add more without selecting a concentration. And so I'm going to put in a chemistry minor. And so at that point, if you keep selecting add more, it's just adding majors um, and adding more minors and adding more. Um, so you, that's not really necessary because degree audits only really pull up one major at a time. So let's click select there and then say generate request. And so that may take a long time if you have credits built up, but I have one pulled right here. So basically this is, it looks exactly like a degree audit, except it's, again, it's in a, major that you have not declared yet. So you can go in and pick any major you want to and see, do I have the credits to finish it? Um, and it'll let you know over here, yes or no. If you have a whole bunch of no's, then it'll be a long time for you to finish that major. If you have a lot of yeses, then it may be not so long of a time. Again, to change a major, you really have to come into the advising center and meet with the specific advisor for that major to change it. But if you're very curious and just want to find out, then this is a really good way to do that.